Welcome back to SnowRunner and Tamir. On the last episode, we picked up the rest of the big engine upgrades for the Russian trucks in the Zimnogorsk map. We also did some of the scout tasks and added another Tatarin to our collection and also the Step 310E. On this episode, we're going to bust out the newly upgraded Taga. We'll also take out the newfound Step 310 and see how well it performs. Let's get started. We left the Taga back in Quarry at an old farmstead here. The last thing we need to do before moving into Zimnogorsk with this truck is complete the late inspection task where we need to check the eastern tower. We'll run up the road and drop the trailer. I have a plan to make this short and painless. Let's see how well it goes. I'm confident that we can just go through the trees here. We'll make a mark and we'll run up the road and see if we can get through there. As you can see, the trees here are not extremely tight, so we should be able to get through here. The branches definitely get you hung up. Now that we have late inspection done, we can run back out to the road, grab our trailer. We're going to head down into the quarry and grab two concrete slabs and get started on the pier recovery contract, where we need to restore the broken down pier in Zimnogorsk. The concrete slabs will have to come from this map because there is no warehouse in Zimnogorsk where we can load them. We'll get back hooked up to our trailer and we'll head up to the quarry and get loaded. Just like before, we'll take the same route down into the quarry. We're just going to go right down the hill. The white western star is still sitting in the way. Leaving the quarry is still a challenge with this truck right now. Once we get into Zimnogorsk, we'll install the large engine and the rest of the upgrades. And this thing will start to perform like a beast again. How it's meant to be. We'll bring this logging trailer back with us so we can sell it off at the same time. Now that we're in Zimnogorsk, we'll make a quick pit stop in the garage and get reconfigured. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is put the 330T engine in. We're finally going to install a high range gearbox. We'll get the raised suspension and then 51 inch OHD1 tires. I'm also going to remove the spare wheel and change the paint scheme back to the default color to represent the true Taiga that has been waiting to be. Let's head back out of the garage. We'll get connected to our trailer. It's time to take this thing out and see how well it performs. Leaving the garage, we'll take the first right. We're gonna follow the highway and take the same path over to the industrial district that we have been taking before. The high range gearbox mixed with the 330T engine definitely has this truck performing a lot better. It has the power that it's supposed to have now. We should be able to get a lot of the work done on this map in a fairly short amount of time. As I said before, the Taga was pretty disappointing in the previous episodes, being underpowered and underperforming. Now that the truck is finally upgraded all the way, we're getting to experience what this truck is meant to be. They get around this rock here and we'll take our shortcut that goes right around the tree line where the shallow crossing is. From here we should be able to cruise right down the road. The pier is right by the first watchtower that we discovered with the Royal when we came in here and did the geo research contract. The Tega is definitely stretching its legs now. The high range gearbox performs quite a bit better than the off-road gearbox with this truck. It does take more damage, but if you're careful with it, you can try to avoid some of it. Okay, we'll get these two concrete slabs delivered, and we're just going to park this truck out of the way. We'll need to recover the Step 310. We'll go back to the garage, get it configured real quick, and then we'll head back out and haul the oversized cargo over here with that truck. So the first thing we'll do in the garage is add the IMZ 210 engine and sell off the Voin. We'll add a high range gearbox, the raised suspension, and 43 inch UOD2 tires. Upgrade the winch, grab a snorkel, install a loading crane and a low saddle definitely need the horns some new wheels and with that we'll leave the garage run over to the trailer store and pick up sideboard semi-trailer we can get turned around and load up an oversized cargo right over here at the warehouse and we'll head out and take the same path that we took the last time with the Tega, and we'll see how well this truck performs the step 310 has an incredible amount of power for the small truck that it is even with the high range gearbox it seems like all you got to do is get it moving just a little bit and you can slap it into high and the thing just powers through anything you throw at it even with this oversized cargo, which is really heavy, the truck doesn't slow down a bit. We'll cruise right up the hill. Just look at it go. We'll need to use a winch to get up over the crest, but still trucking though. And we'll take our same shortcut around the tree line and we'll cruise down the road. This truck has an amazing engine sound. It's deep and throaty. I really like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate all of the support. And we're pulling into the pier. We'll get this oversized cargo delivered and we get to watch the cool pier recovery cutscene. This is definitely one of my favorite cutscenes in the game. Thank you. 
And with that, peer recovery is now complete. Come back on the next one where we'll continue working on tasks and contracts in this map. We're getting close to being done with Tamir and looking forward to getting into Kola Peninsula coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Thank you.